Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and today's video. We are doing a three looks one palette video today and it is using the Let It Rainbow palette from Tarte. Um, this literally is, as it says, it's a rainbow palette. The inside matches the outside packaging. I have done a, a whole video on this. If you'd like to check that out, I'll link it up here for you now so that you know all the products that I'm going to be using within this video. Um, because I bought mascaras, I bought lipsticks, lip pencils, quite a bit to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I shall be back at the end to give you my thoughts and feelings on this palette and all the products that I've bought. This is look number three, um, just to give you an idea. And without further ado, let's get in to look number one. Enjoy. Look number one all completed. I shall lean in and let you have a close look like usual. Here we go. So from the front. From the side. And the other side. Okay, so how have I finished off this rainbowy look? 
Um, so in the waterline, I have used Electric Daisy by Colourpop, really bright neon -y green, um, just to help lighten up that area a bit. And obviously not too heavy or too bold because we've got such a lot going on with the look today. For highlighter, I've used my Ciate London highlighter in the shade Celestial. I've used that as highlighter and I've also used it as like a brow bone highlighter as well. And then on my lips, I've used my new Medusa's Makeup um, Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Shag. Now, as you can see, it is a very bright, summery colour. The formula of these is a little strange. Um, as you're putting them on, they can go a little bit sheer. So this is actually about three coats of this. And there are still patches where I can see my lip tone coming through. Um, they also feel quite sticky. Not when you put them on, but after a couple of minutes, um, your lips start to feel a bit, you know? But then once you let them dry, they're quite comfortable, but you still feel that bit of tackiness in under your lips or on your lips. Um, and after a few hours, they do go a little bit flaky and things like that. So, you know, I wouldn't say they're my favourite formula of liquid lipstick, but they're okay. They're not bad. Um, and I think that's everything. I've had a little bit more blusher as well, because by the time I'd finished, I was like, oh. Now, need a bit more oomph on the cheeks. So anyway, let me know what you think to this look down in the comments section below. And let's move on to look number two. usual and let you have a closer look so from the front from the side and from the other side okay so what have I done to finish off today well on my lower lash line I've actually done two colours. I have used Zulu by Colourpop, this lovely sort of bright tealy green uh, in the inner corner here, about an inner third-ish quarter, uh, just from the tear duct down to about there. And then on the outer edge, meeting up with the Zulu, 
I have used Unst from Colourpop. There we go. And then what I've done is I've got the brushes that I use to apply um, the light greeny blue shadow and the orangey shadow. And over the um, Zulu colour, I've used that brush to just smoke it out a little bit. And then obviously over the Unst, I've used the orange brush. And I've not put any more product on, just literally whatever excess was on the brushes uh, to smoke it out. Didn't want a very, very heavy under eye today because we've got a lot going off on the top. Um, but yeah, I think that's worked out quite nicely. Um, for lashes today, I've used the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know how I feel about these mascaras at the moment. They seem to take two coats to get them to sort of do what I would like or to get the effect that I would like from my lashes. I think if you're somebody who uses false eyelashes and therefore you do, you not too fussy about getting that length and lift with your mascara. I think this would be absolutely great, absolutely. Um, somebody like me who doesn't wear false eyelashes, you do want to give your natural lashes that little bit extra help. This may not be the best formula for that, but you know, it's only the second time I've used this, so I will of course keep trying it and let you know. Highlight today, I've used my Siete London again on the cheekbone and also a little bit of a brow bone highlight as well. Uh, for my waterline today, uh, I have used Prance by Colourpop. Really nice, light blue. Just thought it would tie everything in uh, and something a little bit different to the Lavender Crybaby. And then for lips today, I have used the Model Co Beauty Bullet Lipstick in the shade Flawless. Now, formula-wise for this lipstick, I actually quite like it. Um, it's nice and soft and moisturising, but you still get that matte effect. It's not sort of shiny or glossy in any way. I don't think the colour's particularly me. I can just about get away with it. Um, you know, um, that's absolutely fine. The biggest problem I've got with this product is the smell. It's got a really, really unusual smell and I can't even describe it for you what it is. It's not offensive, it's quite nice, but I have never smelled a lipstick smell like this. There we go. Okay, so that is everything for look number two. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below and let's move on to look number three.
and here we are look number three all completed I shall lean in as usual and let you have a closer look so from the front from the side and from the other side There we go. So as you saw, I used, uh, in my waterline today, I used the Colourpop eyeliner in the shade Punch, just to help brighten up and tie everything in. I also, as you saw, uh, used the little stencil that was included in the Chrome Paint Kit with the little cutie uh, sponge. This was a little bit awkward to, to apply purely because I had to hold the stencil up uh, with one hand, the sponge with the other and I'd got no third hand for my mirror. But you know, if you've got a static mirror you'll be absolutely fine. Um, I think with a little bit more practice um, that's going to work brilliantly. Uh, lips today I used my purple lip liner from Tarte and I also used the purple lip paint. I absolutely, this is amazing. Really, really long lasting, but although it dries onto your lips, um, it doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel tight at all. Really, really so comfortable to wear. I'm very, very impressed with this. So, let's do a review of the Tarte products that I bought in my recent haul. Now we've done this three looks, one palette video. So what do I think to the Let It Rainbow palette? I like it. I do like it. I love the size of it. And, um, you know... It is a great little palette. The mirror's fantastic on it. Um, obviously, mine's covered in, in finger marks because I've kept sort of holding it like that so I don't blind you. Um, the shimmers, the two shimmers in here are awesome. Uh, and I'll just turn it upside down so you can see. And the two shimmers are the purple one and the sort of tealy green here. They are amazing absolutely stunning the mattes used on their own like i have today because very unusually i've done an all matte look um they're okay they are pigmented um but what i've found is for each look i've used my morphe translucent eyeshadow base and today, unusually, then what I've done is I've gone in with uh, just a face powder or you could use like a, a, a very pale eyeshadow and I've gone on and sort of set the base. That seems to help blend these mattes out a bit. So in my opinion, that would be the best way to use them. Don't use them with a sticky base, use them with a set base. So pop a, a neutral powder over your base or whatever. They, and they've also blended into each other much better as well. The last couple of looks when I haven't set the base, I've tried blending the colors, you know, to make um, secondary colors. And they've took a lot, a lot of work, a lot, a lot of blending. And the intensity of the colours that I've then had has not been really what I was looking for or hoping for. Um, but trying this method out today has certainly worked the best, in my opinion. The blusher, I absolutely love. Um, it has got pigmentation, but you c it's very, very easily buildable. Um, and I would say that's the same as the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows initially seem to go on a little bit patchy. You really have to press them on there um, and then work them through. So would I recommend this palette if you're looking to be able to do your looks in sort of five, ten minutes? No. Um, would I therefore classify it as a beginner friendly palette? Maybe not. Do I have what are, in my opinion, better formulas of eyeshadows? Yes. Um, these are quite powdery. Um, 
you do get kick up in the pan. I'm, I've been quite lucky with fallout. I've not suffered too much with fallout, but that's because I've found I've had to really pack them on and then start blending them in. If you just pop, try and be quite sort of timid with them, um, you literally get a, a very, very pale wash of colour. And yes, they do build, but again, they take that time. So it depends on what you're looking for. Am I upset that I've bought this and invested in these this bit of makeup? No, not at all. Uh, I'm really, really pleased I've got it in my collection. Like I say, you know, if you go into a festival, um, if you're going on holiday, the size of this palette is phenomenal. It's brilliant. Um, you know, you can take a lip liner, your lip paint, your, your chrome paint because obviously again you can use this as an eyeshadow that's the one thing I haven't done in this video um, but you can use it for your stencils obviously as your eyeliner brilliant mascaras the two mascaras that I got the formulas are very very similar I think between the two I prefer this one this is the lights camera lashes the other one is the gifted one um the ones are nice and slim they're not overly bushy and they do help to build your lashes don't get me wrong but they're not as effective or building or lengthening as my NYX on their eyes However, again, to, you know, to minimise the amount of makeup you're taking away, if you go into a festival or whatever, the size of this is great. And it's certainly not a bad mascara. I've not had any sort of reaction to it whatsoever. So that's a big bonus for me in particular. Uh, anything else I need to fill you in on? I don't think so. I think that's everything. Um, oh, the Creaseless Concealer. Mmm, really, really pleased with that. I haven't used it today um, because I only got the sample card and I've used the fair and the light one on there and both have been absolutely fine colour-wise for me but I wouldn't want to go any darker than that. Um, I really, really liked it. It was quite creaseless. I was quite impressed. So would I be tempted to go and buy that in a full-size version? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's about £22, so it's not the cheapest, but I definitely would purchase that, definitely. Um, like I say, the lip paint, absolutely love this lip paint, and the blusher is great. The lip liners go on so smoothly, um, they don't sort of drag or anything like that, they've not broken off either, I love how they're the retractable ones, so you literally just twist them up and down, um, they feel good quality as well, they feel better quality than the Colourpop eyeliners and yet they're basically, they, I mean they are, they are the same componentry, you know, whereas the Colourpop ones, they're a bit, they're a bit flimsy, I don't know, I don't know why or how that happens but there we go. Um, so like I say, would I recommend people out there trying Tarte makeup? Absolutely. Um, my favourite products have been the lip paint, the blusher and um, the lip liners, um, but it's a bit of fun. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. Thank you for watching as always everybody. If you are new to my channel, the warmest of welcomes. Um, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing. Either hit that red button down below or the circular icon with my face in it which will appear here shortly. Not made up your mind yet? I'll pop a couple of other content videos that I've done up here for you to go and have a look at. Because I don't just do makeup looks, I do subscription box unboxings, I do a, a live stream on a Friday night, 8pm GMT. So please feel free to join us for that if you would like to. It's just a general chitty chatty, uh, get a few things off your chest kind of deal. Um, and anyway, I think that's everything for today. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Keep safe and well, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.